John here from homestratosphere.com. Now, this is a bit of mind-blowing interior design software. It's called Interior AI. I upgraded the pro version because I wanted to see what it could do. All right, basically what this does is it takes blank rooms. It'll even take rooms with furniture in there. Obviously, you take your own photos and will turn it out of thin air, create some design aspects. Now, check this out. This is one example. I'm going to run through a few here and you can actually see it work. So it does most rooms of the house. You can check, them, check anything you want there. I tend, to, I tend to like the living room the most. I'm not going to do everything. you got multiple styles. Now, you could try this for free. I think you get just the tropical style. But if you upgrade, you get just a whole ton of stuff. In fact, Farmhouse is relatively new, so that's cool. It's a popular style. Now, here, I've played around the virtual staging. This is no, I, didn't, I didn't find this helpful at all. I find you get much better creativity with this setting here, so I would use that. And then we've got sort of a roadmap of what's coming up down the road. And what I did here is I just took a, a blank empty room here and I loaded it in. Again, it works with, with all furniture in there. I'll show you an example of that as well. So this was actually the one here. This is what I did with the farmhouse thing. I just did it. It's actually pretty good. Now, I want you to keep in mind, that these are not like finished design projects by any stretch of the imagination. But what this does is this gives you some really good starting points, maybe some ideas. Check this out. These four are from photos of our living room with actual furniture in there and everything. Now, yeah, it looks weird. So, you know, you got some weird broken angles there. That's supposed to be a bay window that we have in our living room. Obviously, that doesn't look right. But if you sort of ignore the, this, the, the, the wrong angles and the mistakes within the actual accuracy of the image, but you look at the big picture, the concept. So you could look here, like this, this is our living room. This is a pretty cool sofa with the different colors on there with some, you know, medium hued wood in the back there it's just giving us some ideas here's another one this was a this i think both of these were the mid-century renderings and you can run these through twice so like i did did farmhouse and if i run it again i'm going to render a new idea and you know this it just takes a few seconds in the meantime you can see here i had like multiple mid-century modern from our living room here's a maximalist which is pretty wild and, and so this is all from our room and there was furniture in there. So it's pretty interesting. So here's another version of farmhouse. And so it's slightly different. Now it's very similar to what the other one was. It's oriented a little bit different. I tend to like this one more. So these are some ideas here. Now, again, this, these are just starting points. This is not something where you're going to get your finished final product. I just think that you can get brainstorm a lot of different ideas for a space very quickly with this. So I think there is actually some utility to this AI thing, right? I would never, this would not be the go-to in the final product, but it gives you some starting points when you've got basically a blank room like that if you're not coming up with any yourself. All right, so let's try some other styles contemporary let's see what that does here's our contemporary interesting actually not terrible i mean the sofa is obviously not proportionally correct but it gives you an idea of a sort of a concept of a sofa and a, and a color scheme that could work and obviously this is like bizarro but the, you know with a little imagination you could look for a light fixture that has this sort of concept to it right and so, you know, with the black accents throughout the room, you've got yourself a glass round table top there. The proportions are incorrect. If you can overlook the imperfections, you can get some pretty cool ideas from there. Let's try one more. You know, you just have to come here and play, play around with it yourself. I, oh, Ski Chalet was always, actually, it becomes pretty interesting. Now I say that and watch it, it'll be super boring. But I have found that it, it uh, has generated some pretty cool starting designs. Here we go. Yeah, this is interesting. Now, this is obviously not for everyone, right? But I mean, here's a neat idea, right? You've got like, we've got like a, like a beam right there. We've got like rustic wood paneling. We've got this rustic style furniture here with stuff with pillows and a, and a rustic solid wood to coffee table. I mean, look at this. These, these are some great ideas for a starting point. Anyway, you'd have to look for all this stuff and see if it's even possible. Not all of it's going to be possible, of course, but it gives you some ideas. Is this, you can see that this is vastly different than this, right? So, and then of course, different than say from Maximus. Now let's take it, let's do an example of a room where there's already furniture in it. And in fact, I found a really 
good one. That's the one. I gotta. So that's uploading. So this is an interesting one just because you can see it here. I think generally speaking, the house is pretty cool. It's a cool space. I think the furniture is bad, so it could definitely use some improvement. So let's see what we get out of this thing. All right, we got it up. Let's, well, that definitely has a ski chalet vibe, the house. So let's see what that does. That could be interesting. Here we go. Now, this is interesting because it's not a whole lot different, but it is nicer. I, I would say this is, now, now, I don't know where you're going to get some, you know, um, antler type structure like that. So I would disregard that. But you got this, you got these wooden decorative pieces here. You've got an accent chair here that you can find. You could definitely find sofas like this. These sofas look a lot better than the ones that are there. And they're tied together nice with this large rustic coffee table. So that's already an improvement. I'd be curious to see what happens again. Again, we're running the ski chalet just to see if it does anything vastly different. I think also if we look at our room, this is one thing I forgot. You can see they put stone on the entire wall. Now, that's probably really costly, but it is a cool effect and it's better than the original. Here's an here's our new one. Yeah. Okay, that didn't work. And that's another thing I've noticed with this, although it did get an interesting chandelier out of it. Uh, one thing I did notice is usually the first one has been the best, and then it kind of goes downhill from there. Um, there's obviously always exceptions. Let's try something different. Let's try... Well, let's try... Far, well, we've already seen Farmhouse. Might as well show you something different. Scandinavian. Let's see what it does with Scandinavian. And we'll call it a day on this video because obviously you can just jump here and do all of this yourself. Here we go. Now, this is actually kind of nice. I mean, it's changed the whole space. All right. So I don't, I don't know why it, you could see here. I mean, it's a, it's a totally different space here. You don't have the stairs, but it is interesting. You almost have to wonder, would that work? I don't, I don't think this would work well. I think, I think in a living room that actually looked like that, that's actually a nice, nice looking set of designs. You could see here, look at, look at the level of detail it goes. I mean, we got various artwork. You're not going to find the exact artwork, but you get the black and white concept. You got the bookshelf concept. You get a round coffee table concept. You get the mid-century style sofa concept. So these are all concepts and ideas that you can start with and build upon. So that's a wrap on the interior AI. Uh, this is the pro version. This is not the free version. Free version is very limiting. But if you're in the middle of a project and you're, or at the, at the beginning and you're looking for ideas for rooms, then you can do every room of the house, which is really interesting. I just stuck to the, to the living room, but you can do every room of the house. You can get a lot of decent starting ideas here. And then from there, you hire a designer or an architect or somebody to take that, run with it, and actually create a workable design and blueprint. Thanks for watching.